do you recognize this document I'm handing to you, Exhibit 16? No. Do you know what it is? It, I'm only guessing. I don't know what it is, no. It's a certificate of copyright registration. Is your name on it? On the paper you handed me, my name is on it. What does it say that you are? Photographer. Whatever. What, what else does it say? What do you want? You want to ask a question about this? And would you direct my attention to what you want to ask me a question about? Is this copyright registration number the registration number of the copyright you're suing Mr. C.V. and the Legion over? I don't know. You don't know. The title here. That says 2004 photograph, Daniel A. Burnath for Tigard, and I don't want to pronounce, mispronounce it, Tulatin School Board. Is that the photo at issue in this case? The photograph that I made for Tigard Tualatin School Board is at issue in this case, yes. Is that the title of that photograph? How many photographs for the Tigger Tulatin School Board race have you submitted for copyright registration with the Copyright Office? I think there were two. There were two? Are both at issue in this case or only one? Well, I think both. Did you, did you allege two copyrights at issue in your complaint or amended complaint? I don't remember. <coughs> Did you tell the Copyright Office you were the author of the work at issue in the application, the photograph? I don't remember. You don't remember. Do you remember if you certified under oath in that application? No. The facts contained therein? No. You don't remember? You don't remember. Do you remember much about the application process? What do you mean by much? I'm asking if you remember when you applied. We, I, you, we're having issues with your memory, and so I'm trying to clarify the extent of your memory, the length of your memory. I don't remember the date. You don't remember the date? That I received the copyright registration. Do you, do you remember filling out the form itself? No. No? Did you do it yourself? I don't remember. Did someone else do it for you? I don't remember. So if you put facts in into the application that were uh, certified under oath, you can't even tell us whether you were the person making those claims or not, can you? I'm sure that I followed all legal requirements and that I accurately stated what was ever required in the application. Well, you just told me you don't know if you made the application. What is your question? Did you make the application? I recall that I received Uh, one or two returns from the copyright office stating that the work was copyrighted and I remember going to their website and finding it and they said that the work was copyrighted. Did you prepare the application? I don't remember. Someone did, I assume. Is that a question? It was a question. It was a question mark on the end of it. I assume that someone prepared your copyright registration application. Is yes, that we accurate? That. Okay. Did someone prepare it? I don't remember. Did you hire a service to prepare it? I don't remember. Did you hire a lawyer? I don't remember. So the facts that are contained within it, how are we to judge the veracity of those? You can judge the veracity any way you wish. Well, you're the person who signed it, allegedly. But you're telling me you don't know what you wrote in there or why or even if you wrote it. Is that accurate? It's the compound question. Did you write the, uh, did you fill out the application? Don't remember. Did someone do it on your behalf? I don't remember. <clears throat> Thank you.
How can you be certain the information contained in there is accurate? Do you understand your question? Well, you sued some parties in federal court alleging that the facts contained in the certificate of registration are accurate. Didn't you? I don't remember. You don't remember if you've sued my clients in federal court I for did. copyright infringement? I did. Okay. And you based that case on your alleged ownership of a copyright. Is that accurate? Yes. What copyright do you allege that you own? Of the photograph. It's a work, as it's called. Okay, and that's the one that we've been talking about that's you in your head, not on the body of the other gentleman, without the military uniform. Is that accurate? You gave me an incomplete sentence. Can you give me a full sentence? What deposit material was filed with the U.S. Copyright Office in connection with your copyright application? A reproduction of the uh, photograph. Who filed that? I believe it was me. You just earlier you said that you didn't remember, but now you think that you did file that application? I still don't remember, but it must have been me. Could it have been someone else? Yes. Do you think the court should rely upon the accuracy of that application? Yes. Why is that? Because it's truthful. Even if someone else did it, it's truthful? Did something else? Did what something else? If someone else filed it other than you, how would you know whether it's truthful? I don't know how to answer that. It's a simple question. You stated that someone else could have filed the copyright application, didn't you? That's a possibility, since I don't recall. Do you know who that someone else is? Your question doesn't make any sense based on my inability to recall who filed that. Okay. Well, then it sounds like it could have been possibly many people. Is that accurate? Your statement that it sounds like many people could have filed it uh, does not aid me in recalling the filing of the application. Thank you. I think we're at 17. Do you want the court to rely upon the facts contained in that copyright registration? If there's some fact that's inaccurate and an amendment is required, I mean, the court should rely upon uh, whatever the accurate statement is. How would you know whether it was accurate? I don't know. It, it would appear to be so. So the entire yes. thing could be inaccurate, isn't that true? No. You just said you don't know whether it's accurate. I have no belief that it's not inaccurate. My belief is that it is accurate. Why is your belief that it is accurate? Because of my diligence and I would not let it go without being done properly and being done accurately. But you just indicated, or you just actually... Unlike some lawyers in this room who have uh, had their client commit perjury, uh, looking at you, Mr. Mason, having your clients commit perjury. But you just tested... Repeatedly, uh, I would, uh, I would, uh, as is my habit, I would be as accurate as possible. And if there was a, uh, something <coughs> that was incorrect, then I would amend that if it was pointed out to me that it was incorrect. Unlike you, where you 
suborn perjury with your clients, and uh, you have an obligation to go forward and uh, inform the court of this perjury, but as far as I know, you haven't done it yet. How would any, anyone know what was accurate in that application if we don't know who prepared the application? Uh, you can uh, believe what you want to believe, you can disbelieve what you want to believe. It's uh, certainly up to you. This is your testimony, Mr. Burnett. This is about whether anyone's going to believe you with regard to these issues, isn't it? I don't understand your question. This testimony is about whether anyone's going to believe you, isn't it? Oh, we're not talking about your perjury, subordination of perjury, and your conflict of interests. That's we're correct. We're talking about whether I'm telling the truth. That's correct. Okay, here's my statement. I told the truth uh, at all times. If uh, I made an error or if uh, some other fact comes forward and changes that, then I would amend it. But as I see now, because of my habit of being diligent and following the law, therefore, uh, everything that I've done is proper and uh, correct. So in your statements to the court, is it fair to say that whether you can remember something or not isn't relevant and we should assume you did everything properly? I don't understand your question. Do you have some question here? Yeah, here's my question. You don't know if you filled out the copyright application. Isn't that correct? I have no recollection of that. If you have something to refresh my recollection, I'd be glad to look at I it. I just showed you your own certificate of registration. You showed me a piece of paper. That's that's the certificate of registration from the copyright office for your copyright that you're suing people in federal court over. Yes, and I am, you because you stole my uh, image. I stole it? I'm talking about uh, the clients that you're betraying, Legion and CB. You understand the copyright is a ownership of copyrights are requisite in a copyright infringement action, correct? Yes. Okay. And yet you can't tell us whether or not you accurately filed the copyright application for the copyrighted issue in this case. Isn't that correct? No, that's not correct. Okay. Did you fill out the copyright application in this case? I don't recall. Okay. Could someone else have done it? Could have. Okay. So you can't tell us whether you filled it out, can you? At this present time, no. At some other present time, could you tell us? Uh, perhaps at the time that I did it, or someone else did it. Uh, let me ask you a different a different question. Are you able to give any testimony at all that can be relied upon regarding that copyright registration application? Yes. What kind of testimony would that consist of? That uh, myself or someone acting on my behalf uh, filed that copyright application and that the copyright registration was uh, issued to me for my ownership of that property. But that was signed by you, not someone else. Who would that other person have been? I don't remember. I don't know. Thank you. <coughs> do you want to get? Do you, do you want to give me something specific, or are you just going to keep uh, asking these same questions? I'm going to ask you. Again? I'm going to ask you some other questions now. Um, well, I want to make it clear that the the copyright is. Uh, application was, as far as I know, I have no reason to believe otherwise, was filled out accurately, that it, if there's some fact that, that uh, makes it so it appears to not be accurate, then I would amend it, but uh, that is my work, and it was copyrighted correctly from my view of it, and uh, that uh, copyright office has issued me the certificate. But we just couldn't know, could we? Well, you may have a lot of problems. Uh, I don't know what your problem is here when you say we. I, Unless I you've asked got a you, mouse in your pocket, uh, <laughs> you, you, may, you may look for every uh, uh, ridiculous thing to uh, save your client, but uh, uh, this doesn't seem real fruitful. Did you speak to a copyright lawyer before you filed that? I don't remember. Do you know, I wouldn't tell you anyway. Do you know much about copyright law yourself? I passed California, the Oregon Bar, yes. Have you ever practiced copyright law? I must have. I have to say yes. Okay. So when I was asking you about the elements contained within your copyright application, you just can't remember what they are. When I say to you, are you the author of the work? No. We, we've discussed this before, and yes, I am the author. You made a, a silly summary judgment motion, uh, and, and I pointed out uh, the fallacy of uh, your argument 
saying I wasn't the author. Uh, I was the author, and I am the author. But you don't recall putting that in the copyright application yourself? No. Okay. I'm going to show you Exhibit 17. You know, 